Hey, how's it going, man? Good. Tell me what's going on. All right. So uh, I got I figured out my problem down to the uh, control module, um, and I got a new one uh, lined up online. It says that uh, it says that it's compatible with a bunch of different ones. And when I looked at the one that's on the existing truck, the numbers don't line up. The numbers aren't right. Um, I looked up those exact numbers and found that one for a little bit more online, but um, I just I, I wanted to know if that will still work or do I need to find the exact number? What size engine do you have? It's a 5.2. <clears throat> Normally, the way it works is you have to have to go with the exact part number. Now, in some cases, what they do is they have you know updated part numbers that either supersede you know, old part numbers, and that would be okay. But generally speaking, you can't mix and match any parts. Yeah. You know, you don't want to just get well, one with from a different year, you know, Dodge. A lot well, of people, they try to do that. I but looked it up, it's the same. Like, I, I put in all the information, the, the, the year, the all that, and, uh, and it pulled up, uh, like, a couple different ones, and they were all that same one. But when I looked on the truck, that one. This is automatic transmission? Yeah. And the federal emissions or California emissions? Uh, California, I believe. Okay. Well, so the number that I have, I don't specialize in parts. You know, I'm not a parts jockey. I'm a technician. But this is what I have here. I do have the part number um, for this ECM. So the ca for, for California emissions, automatic transmission, 5.2 liter engine, R is in Romeo, 604-0369 Apple Frank AF at the end. Yeah, I have I have zero two six nine on there, and the the part online um, was six zero two eight five four three, and it had a bunch of different variations of that with different numbers after it. So after it, after yeah, it. as long as wh 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 you know wherever you find it online, you can contact the seller and ask, say, hey, you know, this is the part number that are, that I have. Will this work? Or if it says it on that page, you know, that the one you're looking yeah. at supersedes that number, then you should be good to go. Well, that's I've been trying to contact the company and I can't get through to them, and that's why I was trying to figure out like, like because it says it lines up with that year, with that make and model, and all of that. Is, is it like, I mean, how specific do they get? Is it generally going to work if it's for that? Because I know they're rebuilds and stuff. I don't I don't know how that works. So I found one here on Flagship One for two hundred eighty nine bucks for the part number that I just read off to you. All computer resources two hundred seventy nine dollars. Allcomputerresources.com. So I, I would, if you can't get a hold of the company, I would just, I would go with a different company. So I probably shouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. No, not until you hear from them. So if you're, but here's, right. keep, keep in mind, if you got an ECM that's bad, you can send it to a computer rebuilder and they can, they can rebuild it for you. I'm trying to get it done like ASAP. I'm trying to get it like fucking next day shipping. Because so, you want to fix as soon as possible. You don't want to wait like a week, is what you're saying. Yeah, I need it to be working. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Then I would, yeah, then, because here's the thing. If you get a wrong one, and then if you get it and plug it in and find out that it's wrong, it's it's going to be a mess. And then you got to send it back. And then, you know, you were expecting it to get it done in a day. And I would just find a different company, to be honest with you. The only thing I can recommend is if you if you contact the dealership, and I don't even know if the dealerships, the books are even going to go back this far, but get the updated part number from them and see if the you know the latest part number that they have will match up with what you have. Yeah. You know, or will supersede with what what you have. Well, Any, I appreciate your help, man. You're welcome. Any other questions while we're on the phone? No, no, no. That that's exactly what I needed. All right. Good luck, and let, let us know if anything comes up. Okay. Well, thank you, Bert. You're welcome. Bye bye.